What's up guys? Today we're tackling some more math practice problems for the DAT. Here we go. Before we get started, here are the shout outs I promised. If you're interested in being featured like this, all you have to do is comment below and to show my appreciation for you supporting me, I'll randomly choose one or two of you to feature in my next video. Remember, if you don't need the explanation of how to solve the problem, you can just use the chapters in the video to skip ahead. Uh, you can also go down to the description where I've tagged parts of the video that you can skip to that are the exact moments where the next practice problem starts. All right, I'll shut up now. Let's get started. All right, to solve this problem, it's not too crazy. We need to first recognize that this first statement, Kate is 12 years older than Tatum. We can rewrite that to be K equals 12 plus T, with K being, well, with K being Kate's age and Tatum, or T being Tatum's age. And then the second sentence here. How old will Tatum be when her age is two-thirds of Kate's? We can rewrite this to be Tatum's age, T, equals two-thirds times K. And from here, it's relatively straightforward. So what we want to do is replace one of these letters so that we have only one letter in the entire equation. Let me show you what I mean. So with this, I'm going to replace this K right here with what this is up here. So the we see that 12 plus T equals K. So let's throw it down in this equation. So we have T equals 2 thirds, that's from this bottom equation here times, then like I said, we're replacing the K with 12 plus T. And now let's work that work through this. T equals two thirds times 12. Now for me, I know this is eight without even thinking about it. But if, if this is a moment where you're like, oh, I don't know what that is, I should just use a calculator. I would say no, because calculators are a waste of time on this test and you want to try to use a calculator as least amount as possible. If you need to use it, use it, but I would highly advise against it. So what I would do is, if you don't know, just know that that's 8 by looking at it, then I would suggest thinking about it like this. Instead of 2 thirds times 12, take 12 divided by 3, which is what we're doing here, and that, you should know, that equals 4. And then multiply it by 2. And that equals 8. So hopefully that's a helpful trick for you. But moving forward, so we have t equals 8, which is this 2 thirds times 12. And then the 2 thirds times t, that's plus 2 thirds t. Okay, and then we simplify, bringing this t, subtracting 2 thirds t to each uh, from each side, or bringing the two-thirds t over, however you want to say that. Wow, that's a terrible arrow. Let's try that again. Two-thirds t. There we go. So now we're at one-third t equals eight. Multiply each side by three to give you t equals 24. And that, my friends, is your answer, d. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value from this video, click the like button and maybe even subscribe. I've got lots more pre-dental videos coming and you're not going to want to miss it. Okay, back to the problem. All right, so for this problem, the very first thing I would recognize 
is that we are working with volume. The reason I know that is because we're filling the inside of a water balloon, so the, the space inside of a sphere. And with that knowledge, I know that the units need to be cubed. So before even moving to any rules or equations that I should know, I will first look at the answers and see if that information helps me at all. And I recognize that it does. B is squared, so that answer is wrong. And D is squared, so that answer is wrong. Immediately, I already know the answer is either A or C. Now let's move on to the rules. So the first rule we need to know is the volume of a sphere, because it tells us here that the water balloon makes a perfect sphere. So that is the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then the second rule that we need to know is simply the diameter equals 2 times the radius. So um, we'll start here with writing out this equation and plugging in our radius. Oh, but before we can even do that, we need to find out what this r value is. Um, so we need to recognize that here, I'll draw this over here, this length from edge to edge going through the center point is D, this whole length here to there, that's your diameter. And half of that, by definition, is R. So make sure you know that. That's one of the tricky parts about this problem, is here we're talking about the diameter, but in the equation, we need radius. So moving along, we use this d equals 2r to solve that and our d diameter is 6 well and then that equals 2r divide each side by 2 you get 3 equals r and then you plug that guy up into there wow that was a horrendous error let's redraw that there we go so now we have v equals 4 thirds pi 3 cubed. Now here, if you want to use a calculator, use it. But as I like to teach, avoid using a calcula calculator as much as you can. So what I would do here is actually not use the calculator. I would recognize that this 3 cubed literally just means 3 times 3 times 3, and I recognize that there's a 3 over here that we're dividing by, so I can just get rid of this 3 and get rid of that 3, and that will make my life easier. And so really the equation I have is 4 pi 3 squared, otherwise known as this 3 times 3. And so in my head, I'll just do 4 times 3 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, times 3, 36. So now I have 36 pi centimeters, we're working with volume, cubed. And that is hopefully an answer because that's as, all, that's as far as we can go. And yes, sure enough, A, 36 pi centimeters cubed. All right, if you made it to the end, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more pre-dental and DAT prep content like this. If you know any other strategies to do well on the math section, then be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And remember to comment below for a chance to be featured in an upcoming video. And also check out the pinned comment for this week's conversation starter. I want to get to know you, so comment. Also, don't forget to find me on Instagram. I post app practice problems on my story every single day and post pre-dental tips at least once or twice a week. So the link to that will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.